Hello, my name is Michael, and alongside Remy and Fidel, we are Group 46. Our client, Dr. Zhang, has a robot he wants to know the location of in real time. Our solution was to develop a real-time locating system with the client's trilateration-based hardware, a similar technique to what GPS systems use. The system uses trilateration. This is a geo-positioning method that finds the location of a moving target, which we refer to as the tag, given the distances to at least three statically known devices, which we call anchors. The entire process can be broken down into three stages. The first stage involves the hardware, in which the anchors output a signal detected by the tag. The second stage utilizes our core program. The tag passes through all of the anchor distance measurements to the Raspberry Pi, which in turn uses our custom-made trilateration algorithm to calculate and determine the tag's location. The final stage takes the location data and transmits it via a number of useful interfaces, the most notable being a user interface that graphically displays key information to a user. This GUI can also be used to update and configure the system as a whole. Our completed project consists of many different features. Firstly, the tag location can be outputted through many different interfaces. There is a UART interface, an analog interface, and a WebSockets interface. Additionally, we have a web client that can be used from any browser-capable device to visualize or configure the system. The web client can be used by connecting to the Raspberry Pi hotspot network and visiting the rtls.local website. In the page, the user can see the live location of the tag and update the current configuration, such as the names and locations of the anchors, the grid area, and the selected algorithm. There are three algorithms available for use in the system. The first is what we call the basic algorithm. This just implements the standard intersection of spheres algorithm using three anchors. This has some limitations. The algorithm doesn't respond well to outline measurements and is also very susceptible to noise in the measurements. To address these problems, we developed a second algorithm using the extended Kalman filter, or EKF for short. This filters the measurements so that we get more stable and accurate data. Finally, we have a built-in algorithm. This simply uses the trilateration engine that is already present in the hardware we use. We added this as an option to let us compare our own algorithms with it. The result is a functioning RTLS system. Thank you.